Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies here. We got something the Bart hasn't seen. I barely know it. It's a peanut butter whiskey. What? <laughs> yeah. I haven't seen it. Well, I guess we're going to test it. Tongue stuck to the roof of your mouth style. Screwball style. <laughs> All right, so yeah, I set this up. Bart hasn't seen this. I literally just Peanut bought butter. it. Peanut butter, I like. So, huh. a quick shout out though, and our Scotch God shout out to South Dakota dude. Can I look he, at it now? Yeah, go ahead. He recommended this. He said, "Do you like peanut butter?" And I said, "Yes." He said, "You've got to try this old-fashioned recipe with this screwball whiskey." This was literally maybe ten days ago. So okay. I'm in the I'm in the liquor store two days ago on Friday. Here's screwball whiskey, peanut butter whiskey. Yeah, to the mits, misfits, black sheep and screwballs. And I look, it's 25 bucks. So I'm like, okay, South Dakota dude, for 25 bucks, we're going to try your screwball peanut butter whiskey and your peanut butter old fashioned. Small print, it says whiskey with natural flavors and caramel color. Yeah. It is, what is that? What's the proof? 70? Yeah, 35% ABV. Okay, okay, yeah, sure enough. Mm -hmm. If I'd gone over one more, I'd see 35% yeah. ABV. Okay. So, uh, according to uh, the, our liquor store, though, this started life as a whiskey. That's okay. been flavored with some with peanuts. Okay, <laughs> okay. Some of these start life as a, as a vodka and morph into a whiskey, a, a flavored whiskey. This was always a whiskey. It's just been tuned up to bring a peanut butter flavor to it. Uh, with the 35%, it's still labeled a whiskey, which I thought was strange, but they said they've got peanut butter whiskey on there. So they, they either have to have like flavored, flavored whiskey okay. or strawberry whiskey, you know, whatever. Okay. That gets them by the 40% yeah. minimum. Sure. So, well, it we're is just Halloween. Gonna, I feel like we should have a Reese's peanut butter cup of this. Well, and we'll go into the old fashioned and the very, the variant I had to make from South Dakota dude's recommendation. Holy moly. <laughs> peanut butter? Yeah, that is the, uh, what's the peanut butter cookie? I had it. Nutter basic, butter. Nutter butter. Nutter butter. In basic training, yep. I, I will love nutter butters because <laughs> a guy gets like a care package sent to him and there you had to eat the entire, if it was food, you had to eat it all. Oh my God. And so he was sharing it out and I was like, this is the best cookie I've ever had. Yeah. It is nutter, liquid nutter Holy butter. Holy moly, that is total nutter butter. <laughs> with hints of chocolate, maybe, too. Oh, gosh. Boy, that's a nice nose. I'm a mm -hmm. little scared. Nutter butter on the palate with a marshmallow. Uh, maybe coated with some uh, powdered sugar. Woo! It's sweet. Too sweet. There, there is a, wi a whiskey underlayment, though, to it. That is too sweet. Yep. Yeah. It is. It's a. It's peanut butter whiskey. I mean, the peanut butter is all over, but it's too sweet. Some people are gonna drink the hell out of this. I oh yeah. no, hold on, because let's go ahead and grab your glass. What we did. This part I agree with. Pre-show. Now, you have, what you have to do is you have, and this should have some rocks in it. Probably it's an old fashioned, but you have to have a good uh, rocks glass as well. We've got our Scotch Test Dummy rocks glasses that are available on our website. One part or one ounce peanut butter whiskey, two ounces of rye whiskey. Uh, South Dakota dude in his recipe had bullet. I didn't have bullet. I used Templeton. Six year Templeton. Six year Templeton rye. Just use a Templeton uh, too. One ounce of peanut butter screwball whiskey. Two ounces of rye whiskey. Let me cleanse here. And I used chocolate bitters because. Um, Chocolate and peanut that's butter. That's genius. Yeah, that's yeah. genius. It's, you got peanut. The after and, you got peanut is, butter in my chocolate. You yeah, got the aftertaste is butter. very buttercream. Oh, God, the syrup. Yeah, it's this. It's it's like a liqueur. I mean, it's a right. sweet. Unlike you know Fireball though, that's like cinnamon based. To me, there's still that underlaying. You can get the whiskey in there where the peanut butter's yeah. been added to if it. They could tone down the sweet, which I'm hoping is what's going to be in. What are you calling this again? It's a well, it's an old fashioned, old fashioned a peanut, peanut butter, butter. old fashioned. Okay. 
So one ounce, again, one ounce of screwball, two ounces of a rye whiskey, and 10 drops of Angostura bitters was the recipe. I had chocolate bitters. I used chocolate bitters because it goes pretty good with Back in the butter. day, I knew a girl that loved peanut butter. This would have been a standby. Mm. I liked it. And that's it. This was the reason I decided to film it. It's still sweet, but it's a different drink. It's oh, it's interesting. Okay, I'll give you some credit here. Yeah, and I could see sitting down with this right. once in a while and drinking it. Would you mind pausing and grabbing one ice cube? Right. All, right, All right, so I ran and grabbed some. Bart, Bart wanted to try this on the rocks. Definitely. It's got a little bit of a warm flavor. Give me another cube. There we go. We're going to let that marry because you are you are right. Mm-hmm. Now, now, here's the deal. I'm a lazy whiskey drinker, meaning I like my whiskey neat, generally not mixed in a cocktail. I'm just adding, this was still a little sweet. Templeton if 6 it's, is if, a great by itself. If it's too sweet for you, it's had a little bit more rye. Uh, still um, good. And like I say, this uh, the whiskey by itself, we wouldn't be reviewing it. <laughs> but no, I tried this no. old-fashioned from South Dakota dude, and I was like... I like South That's Dakota good. dude's idea because you're right. I got a little bit of the spice kick mm -hmm. with your chocolate bitters were a smart move and mm -hmm. the peanut butter finish. Mm -hmm. Right there. And that was a good, oh, that's good right there. That is. I get the rye. I get the peanut butter. There's a sweetness. There's some orange zest. Mm -hmm. The chocolate. That's a good, it's a good um, drink. That is good. <laughs> the problem is I get hammered. <laughs> Because you feel like you're drinking something that's not full-out whiskey, and you'd be wrong. Yep. Mm. So, well, I mean, what do you think of the old-fashioned? I like it. I like if, it as an old-fashioned. This, I could not sip on. I agree. It was too syrupy but sweet. The thing, there's going to be a lot of people that, that will like that sure. and like it by itself. Let me um, see a couple more ice. Oh, that was all I brought. Oh, okay. You're piece. good. You're good. You're good. So, I would ice this up. It would be like, I would, but like I said, I think if it's too sweet for you, add a little bit more rye. Add sure. another drop of chocolate. Well, bitters. used yeah, the chocolate bitters are great. Used a phenomenal rye. The six year Templeton's mm -hmm. a great rye by itself. Um, like I say, South Dakota dude said, in his recipe was bullet rye. You know, I think Sazerac rye yeah. might be a good one in it as well, which I do have somewhere. As Where's tech. my Sazerac? Oh no. Uh, Aztec chocolate she bitters. She made those. Those are from bitters. Lisa Carrington. Yeah, that's a whole other thing. Cocktail Maven. Well, this was one that we she bought. Boom, didn't she? She's didn't making we? her own. Yep. Mm. Yep. Oh, I thought that was one she made. So I like I like the chocolate bitters with the peanut butter whiskey. Add the, the rye. The nose is unbelievable. One to two parts, but again, you can modify that to your tasting. Um, I like the peanut butter whiskey wow. in this old fashioned, in this drink. So, knock yourselves out. Well, I mean, yeah, 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 yeah nay. Yes, Casey? yes, on the old fashioned yeah. uh, with those bitters and everything, and the way you just threw that together. My biggest complaint on cocktails is there's a lot of flair and shenanigans going on. Can be, yeah, yeah. and I don't like all and shaking it and, and then got to restrain it. I don't want to do any of that. Um, that is our Scotch God shout out to South Dakota dude. Thanks for the suggestion. Thanks for the recommendation. It is a good drink. I'll tell you the nose no. is unbelievable. I will tell you though too, the clerk in the store said if you like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, mix this with cranberry juice. It's just like a liquid PB and J. <laughs> <laughs> I did not try that one. I like it with rye whiskey. In college, you know, I that could I be good. all over that, I guess. But Let's, You want to try it with a peated whiskey real no, quick? Not right now, no. Okay. Maybe, maybe later. Maybe in the future. I think it would be good with a peated whiskey as well. You put that in Ardbeg 10, could be good. Ardbeg 10 would be probably the with one I would try bitters. it with. With chocolate bitters, it might be unbelievable. You yeah. might convert me into something where I'm at home and people are like, what are you drinking? What would we call that, though? That would be called... We'd have to, yeah. we'll have to come up with a yeah. cool name. We won't do that now. Yeah. Let it give us a chance. It'd be called like, I don't know. Sorry, now you got me intrigued. Scotch it, you scotch gods. Slanja. Dummies. Dummies. Anytime you add Ardbeg in, mm. in there, I was like, ooh, mm. ooh.